It's called The Last Cartoonery! Bill Hanna and Joe Barbera changed everything with a new way of making animated cartoons for the new market of television. In 1957, they opened their cartoon studio. The TV networks could not get enough. The top talent in the business flocked to the new Hanna-Barbera studio. They also hired me, Tony Benedict, a 23-year-old rookie writer and storyboard artist. Before television, the only place to enjoy an animated cartoon was in a movie theater. The major studios, Walt Disney, MGM, and Warner Brothers, each maintained an animated cartoon studio. At one point, the bean counters determined that cartoons added zero dollars to the box office revenues. Their animation units were closed down. Doom and gloom in the world of tunes. Until Bill Hanna and Joe Barbera. For 10 years, Bill and Joe rocked the TV world, cranking out one hit show after another. Life was as sweet as it would ever be, a veritable cartoon Camelot. We've got a great big hit with Rough and Ready. The Flintstones give us much of what we've got. The Jetsons keep the motors running steady in Camelot. In Camelot. Camelot. That's how conditions are. Launch parties and celebrations came with every new show. Everybody danced and partied on like it would never end. All good stories must come to an end, this one among them. In 1967, Bill and Joe sold their cartoon studio to a major media corporation. They remained at the helm, but it was a very different place. The story of those happy days deserves to be told. A lot of work has already been done, as you can see from these clips. Up until now, I have funded this project myself. The rewards for all backers will be a downloadable copy of the final film. Donations of more than $50 will get a signed drawing from the film. Donations of more than $1,000 will receive a Jetson storyboard. Written and signed by me, Tony Benedict. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for checking it out.